Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at scientificamerican.com, and they have an article, Three Big Myths About Modern Agriculture. Now, we do have these ideas in our head that are false about how big agriculture is the only way we can feed the entire world, and that is a lie. Three quarters of the world's food is produced on farms that are less than two and a half acres in size. Most of the food is produced by small farms right now. Most of the food in the developed world, you know, the United States and Europe and parts of Asia, are actually grown by very, very few farmers on very, very large farms. 90% of the food uh, exported from the U.S., for example, is gone to developed countries, not developing countries. But most of the world lives in developing nations. So that myth is false. Large, small farms feed most of the world already. And the second myth, large farms are more efficient. While it is true they can produce large quantities of a single crop, like wheat or soybeans or corn, they've actually found that diversified farms that produce an a many different types of food can actually produce more total food overall. They're also more profitable per acre because you have more diversified revenue streams. And a lot of the bigger farms farm commodity crops that are subsidized by the government. So you need to farm a lot of them just to make enough to survive. And the third myth, conventional farming is necessary to feed the world. They talk about a meta-analysis of 115 different studies that show Organics are only 20% less productive than traditional um, crops technologies like conventional farming and pesticide, herbicide use. Well, they've also found that if you use cover crops and other organic methods, that drops to 10% of efficiency. Right now, worldwide, we waste about 33% of our calories or 25% of our overall weight of food produced. So if we just shuffled things around and had more local production and distribution of our food, then certainly organics can feed the world, especially if we use very productive methods like cover cropping and management-intensive grazing for livestock like Joel Salatin and Polyphase Farms. There's lots of ways we can feed the world with healthy, organic, or somewhat organic food, which uses just a lot less pesticides and a lot more methods to help the soil. And that's how they close out this article, is the improvement of soil, building healthy soil. Because quite frankly, that is the key to all farm production everywhere. You have to have a good soil base, good soil health. You have to have good microorganisms, good organic matter, and good drainage. That combination can lead to a very, very healthy, fertile, and profitable farm. Of course, the link for this article will be in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.